Hi, my name is Angus Ho with Daddy Debt, a part of the Ash Management Group. I want to show how you can budget as a full-time engineer, make real estate investments, and live an exceptional family life as a dad. So come along with me in this journey of wealth. Welcome back YouTube. Did I ever mention that I really love you guys? Well, I do. Mwah, 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 mwah. Kisses all around. Give me a kiss back by smashing that like button. If you want more kisses, make sure you also hit that subscribe button. Today, I have another interesting topic for you. I have been asked a lot about the differences between computer science and software engineering. From a good friend of mine, he asked, Hey Angus, hope you are doing well. I have been requested to get a bit of info for someone who is trying to figure out what path they want to go down in school. Basically, they are wondering what is more appealing to employers, a computer science degree or a software engineering degree. Would you have any insights? As you can tell already, I love mentoring engineers and new engineering students. Feel free to reach out to me anytime by commenting below. Check out my social media pages in the description of this video. Make sure you also check out the video I made about frequently asked questions about engineer. A link should pop up soon. I get many similar questions about software engineering and computer science. So I want to describe each criteria one at a time. The three main criteria I look for is professional designation, salary, and careers after work. So let's get right into it. The three criteria I look for between software engineering and computer science. For professional designation, an engineer in Canada starts with an EIT and then after four years of experience, makes it up to the PNG or the professional engineer. In the United States, it is a little different. Once you graduate, you must take the FE exam, the Fundamentals of Engineering exam, before you can practice engineering. Afterwards, you will take the PE exam, the Professional Engineering exam, to become the professional engineer. The difference is that right after graduation in Canada, is that you will receive the EIT designation, Engineer in Training designation, after you graduate. In the United States, however, you will not receive the EIT designation until you pass the Fundamentals of Engineering exam. The difference between the two countries is that the universities in Canada are accredited by the Engineering Board of Canada, whereas the United States is not accredited and therefore you must take the Fundamentals of Engineering exam. Between the FE and the PE or the EIT and the PNG in Canada is that you must have four years of experience before applying. The PNG or the Professional Engineer carries a very heavy weight when it comes to sealing technical documents. So what about a computer science degree I wonder? Just letting you know that as an electrical engineer I also received a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. Just the same as a Computer Science degree, you will get a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. So what about the professional designation, I wonder? Well, in some states and some provinces in Canada, it is up to the Regulatory Board of Engineering to decide whether a Computer Science degree will be sufficient enough to qualify you as an engineer. Here in Alberta, the PEGA board will approve a computer science degree to be a software engineer. Check with your regulatory body with your state will fit with your designation. To me in general, the professional designation doesn't matter as long as you can get the computer science degree and apply it in the province or state that you want. Salary. The average salary of a software engineer is $74,733. This can range anywhere between $53,000 and $101,000 in Canada. The average salary in the United States is $109,321. The software engineering role is eligible for bonus, share profit, and benefits. The average salary of a computer scientist is $66,908, with jobs ranging between $45,000 and $124,000. The average salary in the United States is $106,861. The computer scientist role is also eligible for benefits, profit sharing, and benefits. 
To me, the pay is roughly the same between the two degrees, so it is not too much to think about. Software engineering does seem a little higher, it is not too much to debate over about. What do you think about the differences between a software engineer and computer scientist so far? Make sure you leave me a comment down below what you prefer. Tell me also what is important to you in a career. While your cursor is down there, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Alright, let's get back into the next consideration of a computer scientist and a software engineer. The next criteria is work after graduation. In my previous video of commonly asked questions of an engineer, I list 15 jobs that people wish for. I went to see if these 15 companies hired computer scientists or software engineers. So let's get right into that list. Number 10, Sony. Both are required equal weight. Samsung, both are also required, engineering preferred. Siemens, they require both computer scientist and software engineer, equal weight. Intel, both are required, equal weight. General Electric, both are required, preferred engineers. IBM requires both, equal weight. Apple, both are also required, computer scientists preferred. Microsoft, both required, equal weight. And finally, Google. Both are required, computer scientists preferred. So it doesn't sound like you have to worry about these two degrees of which one to get. So just the last word of what I think if a computer science degree is better or a software engineering degree is better. After the research, I find that neither has any edge over the other. The two degrees will give you equal opportunities in life. Personally, the engineering path does sound better, but it is also much more competitive. As a student, I would first choose engineering as my first choice, and then if it is too competitive and you can't get into engineering school, don't fret. Take the computer science degree. At the end of the day, you will come out with about the same thing as a software engineer. So my conclusion is, it doesn't matter what you take. As my final comment, the difference between a computer scientist and the software engineer is that the computer scientist will figure out algorithms to speed up the computing process or to have a faster search process. Then the engineer will take these ideas and convert it into something useful. I hope this helps in your next steps to making a choice in your schooling. Well, that's it. That is my comparison between a software engineer and a computer scientist. If you like to hear more budgeting, engineering, or real estate tips, Please leave a comment for what you want to hear, smash that like button, subscribe button, and be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I post new videos every week on Sundays. From the Ash Management Group, this is Daddy Deck, saving you money.